My name is Neil Packer. I'm a freelance illustrator and um, I have been for the last 30 years. And I'm going to talk a little bit about some work I've done recently for a book, The Iliad, which uh, was reinterpreted by Gillian Cross, and published by Walker Books in this country. And we have a, an exhibition coming up very shortly at the illustration cupboard in St. James's in London. And this is the first children's book that I've done in a long while. It was a very long project and um, two books together took roughly about eight years. This is the cover to the Iliad. When I was beginning the Odyssey all those years ago, I found these 18th century tapestries from uh, the, I think the Epiros region in Greece. So that was the starting point for these. A lot of the motifs, these clouds come directly from those tapestries. I mean, stylistically, these come from all sorts of places. I, I, I'm a bit of a magpie, and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of take from, I'll take from anywhere. <laughs> this one is also the Iliad. This is Hector. He's dead at this point, and and his people are, are grieving over his body. But I chose I chose this one because I'm struggling with that as an image. So I actually stole this. This is from. Cortez, photographer, and there's a beautiful picture from about 1927, shot in Paris of some people around a table. They're all kind of crouching down in this sort of curious way, and I wanted somehow to bring out some of the, the tenderness, and, and it was just something about the angle of their heads. It, somehow it worked. In, in terms of illustrating things like grief, I probably wouldn't approach it any different children, adults. Uh, I mean, Gillian in, in the text doesn't, I mean, she doesn't really pull any punches. It's kind of, it's all, it's all there. Uh, I mean, it, it's not visceral and brutal, but, you know, she hasn't shied away from, you know, the, the, the death. I mean, you can't, it's because it's, 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 you know, it's part, it's part of the, it's part of the story. So, and, 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 ch and I, children, they are fascinated by, by that, by, you know, death is uh, quite a, it's a recurring image and, in, in, in so many children's stories, so um, and adults themes too. It's kind of the just the human condition, isn't it? It's, I guess. It's, so no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't tackle it any differently. This is the gods taking sides. It's a mixture of styles. I guess these figures here are all. Um, I mean, they're, they're kind of medieval. Um, I would have. I stole them from um, something which I'd used previously, you look on the Crusades I did for the Folio Society, this background here. This is quite um, Far Eastern. I've, I've seen the, that used before in sort of packaging in Taiwan on various foods, foodstuffs. Um, and I think that lodged in there somewhere years and years ago. So this one is from the, the Odyssey, and this is um, Odysseus when he arrives back on Ithaca and he hasn't recognized his own country because it's kind of been shrouded in mist. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do the mist. And in the end, I found this pattern somewhere else and figured that actually, no, that, 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 that would look really good because it was quite a strong visual image. And so all of a sudden it came together. It had some strength. It had these vectors. Your eye worked around the picture in a certain way, which it wasn't doing before. So yeah, that's that's fine. That you know, all of a sudden, then for for me, that meant it was working. But that's a visual thing. That's not. You know, there's no logical reason for that. And and often that'll be the overriding factor for me. I do work quite small, and I tend to buy quite decent brushes, uh, but not tiny brushes. I mean, just good brushes, because you can get a good point with a good brush rather than tiny brushes, which wear out really quickly. But I still manage to get through about two of these a week. The project I'm working on at the moment is for the Folio Society, and it's a, a book um, by Umberto Eco called Foucault's Pendulum. Stylistically, again, this this is, comes from lots of different places. There's a little bit of sort of sixties graphics going on there, and there's of course there's also a, a lot of medieval miniaturist type allusions in there, and Eric Rivelius, people like that. I've come to the conclusion that you know probably what I have is not a talent as such. It's a, it's a condition, and you know it's it's a, it's a it's a compulsion, and you, and you know I'm driven to my board every day to 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 do this, and I don't know where it comes from in a way, um, and that's uh, that's that, that's why talking about these things are, are very difficult. They kind of you know, hopefully they speak for themselves. <laughs>